Okay, it looks like we are live. Okay, I've got you, Terry, right? You got me. I've got you. <laughs> Okay. All right. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Tracy Cromwell here. I'm your certified integrative nutrition health coach. And today is Tough Love Tuesday. And I have a great guest for you tonight. I have Terry Fossum on with me. Terry is a leadership expert and many other things. And one reason, which I stated in my post, was why I wanted Terry on the show is because. Um, if anyone exemplifies living your authentic life, Terry, to me, is that person. And so um, because I know with health, wellness, and everything in our lives, more than just what we eat um, implements how we feel in our lives. And it also, um, uh, you know, we've talk, talked about this in my book, you know, career, education, finances, all of that. And Terry is also a self-made millionaire. He um, is a scout leader. He's a world traveler. And so he just, um, again, emulates a lot of what I, I believe we can, um, he, I believe, will bring to this show things that we can learn. So if you're listening on the podcast as well, everyone knows when, who you're watching live, that we, I record live. We don't edit. We don't do anything like that. Sometimes things can happen. So anyway, um, just expect this going to be a really fun show, really helpful. And with that, I, I want to be quiet. I want to introduce Terry. Terry, um, you're coming in from Spokane area, correct? Yes. Yeah, Spokane, Washington, sunny Spokane. Yes, yes. So welcome to the show. And I understand you have a fun video that you can share with us about you a little bit. So take the take the reins and I can't wait to watch. Well, okay, let's let's set up the stage real quick here. Okay. <laughs> um, first of all, thanks for having me on the, the show. I really appreciate it, Tracy. It's it's fun to be on here. I know you do great things for great people. So hello to everybody that's watching live and to listening to the podcast as well. Um, I want to tell just uh, a couple of background things. Um, it was about, what, 12 years ago, I married into three teenage and preteen boys. I had no kids, lived in my own uh, six-bedroom house all by myself, had space, quiet, what's the other words I'm looking for? Peace of mind. And then I married into three teenage and preteen boys. And you can imagine my world changed uh, overnight. And at that point, I uh, called up my business partners and I said, uh, guess what? I just retired. And they're like, wait, wait, what? Yeah, I just retired. I mean, they, that phone call was out of the blue to them. And like, what? why? What are you talking about? Look, there's always ways to make money. Okay, there's always ways to make money. Mm -hmm. I got one chance to make a difference in these kids' lives. I got mm -hmm. one chance to turn these young boys into honorable men. And I'm not going to blow it. It's the most important thing in my life. So I spent the next 10 years helping raise these boys. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very blessed with the business I was in. They kept sending me money and I kept accepting it. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and I wrote uh, three books during that period of time, but would not promote mm -hmm. them because that meant I would have to leave the house and mm -hmm. not hear them. I walked these boys to the bus stop every single morning. I was there when they got home every single day, whether they liked it or not. I was <laughs> a scout master and uh, raised two out of three of them to be Eagle Scouts. Mm -hmm. And so at that time, when they when they turned 18, got their Eagle Scout, they were moving on. We're empty nesters. I'm praying to God. Okay, God, what is it you want me to do next? Whatever it is, I'll do. You lead and I'll follow. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> exactly. You never know. You never what know. The answer is going to be. So <laughs> you never know. But you got to be open for it, you know? Mm -hmm. Check this out. So I go down here, right here at my desk, right where you're at if you're if you're seeing the video. Yep. And I check my email. No big deal. We all do it every morning, at least once. And uh, I get this email. This is Metal Flowers Media and Casting Company. We're casting a brand new television survival reality show, Prime Time, on Fox Network. <laughs> being one of the top survival experts in the country against each other. While dragging along a complete novice, somebody who's never even camped out in their backyard before, kicking and screaming. And we think you'd be great. Now, Tracy, and you were. I watched it. It was great. Let me ask you something, though. If you, you get out a check email and you get an email like that, out of the blue, what do you think? It's spam. It's spam. Absolutely. Right? It's okay. spam. 
I'm waiting for and send six thousand dollars to Nigeria, you know? <laughs> yes. And I call up my my poor wife, my poor wife. This is the same uh poor wife who got a phone call one day from me that says, I think I'm gonna go solo backpacking deep into the Arctic Circle. And she wait, what? Yeah, I'm gonna go solo backpacking deep into the Arctic Circle. She what <sighs> when? So oh I, Thursday. So exactly. <laughs> this is that poor wife. And so I tell her about this email and there's a phone number on it and I call a phone number and it's real. That phone call uh, mm -hmm. ended up being to our interview. Mm -hmm. Now I told my wife that, and after we found out more and it looked like I was going to go on whatever this show is and she's laughing at me, Tracy, she's laughing at me because she says, no, wait a minute. Cause you gotta understand. I was the oldest competitor on the entire show. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's and right. By the way, if you're everybody who's listening, there are little nuggets thrown in all of this. There are little life lessons in a, everything I'm saying here, including a lot of things I've already said that you can take to heart and, of course, apply to your own life. Things about going to the Arctic Circle Thursday because it felt like it. These crazy things, do them. Get out there mm -hmm. and go. Don't mm -hmm. operate out of fear. Don't live in fear. Go do it. Find out the unknown. All these different things. Make good choices, family first, things that are important, things that aren't important. And most of it's not important, but you know what family is? Raising those kids are. Money, you can find out ways to make money. Live life. Don't spend your life just trying to make money so you hope to live it later on. There's nuggets through all of this. But my wife, who is much smarter than I am, she's laughing at me because, again, I am the oldest competitor on this entire show. And she goes, ha, guess what? You're the tog. I said, wait, wait, talk? What's that? Token old guy. <laughs> yeah, so I was that guy in the show that you go, it's really cool. They've got the old guy on there. They've got the old guy demographic, you know, but he don't die. Now, the next thing is I was the token Boy Scout. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's they right. I remember. Like Scout master uniform the entire time on the show. That's right. I forgot about that. That's correct. I remember yeah. now. <laughs> now. I can I can tell you, and I've I've done you know survival in the Amazon jungle, and I've climbed the mountains of Rwanda looking for the silverback gorilla, and all sorts of things all around the world. I've done all that kind of stuff, so I wouldn't worry about the survival aspect of the show. That's no big deal. But wearing a Boy Scout a Scoutmaster uniform twenty four seven, while starving, while sleep deprived. And couldn't even say a bad word because I would be judged by millions of people. Yeah. I, I can't yeah. make a, a, a off color joke. I can't laugh at it. You know what, though, Tracy? I'm not that good of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? But, but, you know, we, we all might think that about ourselves. And mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not that good of a person. And yet, Hmm. We can choose to be. The mm -hmm. action we take are our own decisions every single day. In fact, multiple times a day, but the actions we take or do not take. We decide what kind of a person we're going to be. It has nothing to do with what kind of person we were. It has nothing to do with our past. It has nothing to do with our background. It has nothing to do with how poor we were, what part of the world we grow up, grew up in. I'll tell that story in a minute. Yes, it's definitely our, come back to that. Thank okay, you, you got mm -hmm. it. It's mm -hmm. our decision mm -hmm. what kind of a person we're going to be and every single action we take don't blame anybody else don't blame anything else it's our mm -hmm. decision mm -hmm. but there i was and my wife's laughing at me to that too because i'm the token boy scout you know mm -hmm. and i'm saying i'm the guy you look at me go it's really cute they've got the boy scout on there if there's a little old lady to help across the street he's your man but he won't die <laughs> so I, i've got uh, some excerpts from the show that uh, if you're watching, you're gonna be able to see uh, on the screen. If you're not, you'll be able to hear some of the stuff. It may not make much sense, but just uh, bear with us for about uh, three to five minutes, I think it is, and we'll be back. Yeah, and and if you are listening on the podcast, you can go to Terry's YouTube page. It, yeah, correct, and then you'll be able to find it and watch it there. Yeah, so. I, think it's, I think it's on my YouTube. Uh, at the very least, it, I think it's on my website, terryelfarsome.com. Oh. Okay, great. There you go, TerryLFossum.com. In fact, all of the uh, episodes, I believe, are still linked from there. Okay. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is my time. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be on one of these reality shows, 
You've ever wanted to wonder what it's like? Here you go. Here we go. Tonight. Please, please, please watch the champagne. champagne. Gentle, Gentle divas, divas are packing, packing their, their bags. <laughs> for the adventure. Welcome to the jungle. Oh my God, oh my God. 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 I don't, I don't only wear my, my Boy Scout uniform, uniform out here. I wear my Boy Scout uniform probably in my heart. Ten teams of total opposites battle. And leading people who had no idea about anything. For $500,000. In the toughest, oh. most hilarious oh challenge of their lives. Shut up. I'm leaving. It all starts now. Ah! Kicking and screaming. So as you may have guessed, you are paired with your total opposites. You have the most to learn from the person that's least like you. Purple. <laughs> so he's a Boy Scout, and I play video games for a living. Purple, baby. Got it. And I'm like, yep, that's my partner. Terry's a Boy Scout master, and he takes that seriously. And I mean, I know he's representing everything, but, um, you know, <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I, I was, <laughs> was kind of done with that when I was a little kid, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. It is a race. Oh my goodness! Jimmy! At the prize challenge. You're not gonna accept responsibility for anything. We can throw things around water. all the way. Terry. Terry and Natalie collided. This is helping. I think this is helping. But they hugged it out in the elimination challenge. <sighs> the winners here, Terry and Natalie. A team united. Sending Hakeem and Angelica packing. The Boy Scout connects. You guys have won. Wow. Terry, I feel like every single time you win, you just like knock five years off of yourself. You just keep getting <laughs> younger and younger. It's like Benjamin Button is happening. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be 12 when we leave. <laughs> Terry and Natalie. Woo! Yeah. You have won yet another elimination challenge. All right, Terry and Natalie, you have won the challenge and will return to camp with ultimate power. Ultimate power. Things have changed so, so, so much since day one. It's amazing. Day one, we had novices. What, where should I be standing? Right there is good. I'm gonna drop this right in front of you. We don't have any novices in camp anymore. They don't exist. We have partners. These guys could now kick butt on most of the population uh, for survival skills. Attitude is everything. The boys in my troop are gonna laugh their butts off at this. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, Jungle Dad. I'm so embarrassed. One, two, three. Everybody! Oh, my God. How fun. Definitely wish I could have brought my dog. Ah. Oh. I wish I could have him. He would have been tasty. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, the worms. You better great, grab them great. quick, guys. There you go. Terry just chasing them. Be oh. careful so they don't go into the bamboo. Ah. The funky thing about these worms is, man, these suckers are active. You know, they're jumping around. They're trying to crawl off, and they pop. Come here. Back, 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 back. Mm, I like them. Woo. He's moving, though. Okay, they're both moving. They're both moving. Ah, oh, no! I'm so sorry. Me! Now! Ah. First team that will be going yeah, to the finals. Terry and oh. Natalie. We're definitely the comeback kids. We're in the, the finals! Final. Come on, Terry. I throw the first spear and I miss. I throw the second spear. Terry now just throwing the spear and he it. has the splint. I go insane. Natalie climbing up. Terry right behind her. Natalie lighting the cauldron ablaze.
there's no way in the world this was going to happen. <laughs> and it just happened. Winning the whole competition is not only life changing for us, but I feel like it should be a story for everyone. Yeah. We can go through the fighting and come back together and work together. If we can do that, anyone can do that. There we go. I remember that now. I remember trying to watch you guys eat those oh. rubs. Hold on, let me oh, shut that. Gotta turn off your music. Rocking out. <laughs> That was uh, coming up on my, that next YouTube. I'm, I'm the host of a uh, show called Made in America now. Right. Cool. Yeah. That's a good, so, I like it. I've seen um, a couple of, I'm trying to say, I know I saw one where you were interviewing someone, a company in Spokane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put up, uh, we just finished uh, the post-production on one at uh, Fanuc America, the largest uh, robotics manufacturer in the world outside of Detroit. So that Very one will be cool. airing pretty soon as well. So that's that's all fun. Right. So, okay. So let's talk about all of this. Let's you know, talk. you were talking again about you got, you had retired from business to raise your family. And then one day you get this crazy email, it ended up being true. And yeah. then you win kicking and screaming, um, utilizing again, through all of this leadership skills. Now you are bringing to, you know, to all of us, this Made in America program. Again, so let's, yeah, let's talk about that. And one thing I really loved what you said earlier again was how we can get caught in beliefs that we are our past. We are our circumstances. We, we can let that all just come in on us. And I know you'll have wise words to help with that as well. You know, so failure through success, all of those things. How does that leadership step in? Well, you know, leadership is in everything. You know, for, for one thing, and we'll go into also, you can't lead others until you can lead yourself. And we'll talk about that. But even this this whole show, you know, you look at the survival stuff that was going on and we were starving. I mean, I lost 25 pounds on the show. Uh, we were sleeping on the ground with scorpions crawling all over us and the whole bit. But the survival stuff's easy, man. Um, it really, it really is. The hard part's the leadership part. And that's what the show really was. I mm -hmm. had with me. Uh, Natalie was my partner and she, she was an opposite of me in many ways. Um, mm -hmm. well, she's tattooed up. I don't have a tattoo on my body. She's got a, a tongue ring. I certainly do not pink and blue hair. I barely have any hair mm. you know, online. Don't look too close. <laughs> I'm looking. All right. Online video gamer. Um, but, but you know what? Throughout all of our life, any team we're on, anybody we're with, we're going to with, be with people who are different from us. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing it so often online right now. People are looking for the differences in each other and focusing on those. Boy, I can I can divide this entire audience with one word. COVID. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Lisa didn't say immunizations. Oh, you know, and it's it's amazing. And and so we get online or wherever and we focus on the differences in people. We focus on the negatives of people. What if we were to focus on the positives of people? Let's take a look at Natalie. Natalie was smart, man. She was smart. There's a reason why she is such a great gamer and she was streamer of the year last year. OK, and she is strategic. She's very strategic. That's why she's a gamer and a successful one. And, and she's strong. She was a, a swimmer. There's mm -hmm. no way in the world I could have won that show if it wasn't for Natalie. But you got to focus on the, the, the positives. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We have to do that with ourselves, too. Mm -hmm. All too often, we focus on the negatives. We focus on the things that are wrong with us, the things that are wrong with our lives, the challenges we're having, instead of mm -hmm. focusing on all of our positive attributes that we have. Mm -hmm. I have no memory. I just my memory sucks, man. It is. It's horrible. It's really, really bad. Mm -hmm. I hide my Easter eggs. You know, it, <laughs> it's hilarious. I can tell myself jokes because I will forget the punchline by the end, and then I'll be amazed. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. But okay, so that's a negative. You know what? Maybe I have a couple positives to me also. And if I go through life looking at the things that are wrong with me, I'm never going to get anywhere. 
I know everybody's <laughs> already extrapolated from that where I'm going with that. And it's true. Same thing with our past. Yeah. Well, and it's like that concept of, I think too, there was a period in time when we were told, focus on your weakness and improve that weakness. And we totally ignored what we were really good at. And one thing I get challenged with was that, that really stuck in my head. So I mm. focused on everything that I was bad at and I was going to improve that. I was going to work on that. And so, but when I worked on things that I did, if I did things or I was in an area that I was good at or I flourished, sometimes I would devalue that talent or that skill set because I was supposed to be focusing on the things that were wrong and making those better. And so one thing like I love what you're saying is like, yeah, what is our, you know, we all have something. We have a form of something that we do and we have a skill and utilizing that to its best, you know? Um, yeah. When we, we throw in that also the imposter syndrome and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. The imposter syndrome that look, I'm nobody. Okay. And people are going to figure out at some point, that I don't know what the Sam heck I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> They're going to figure it out that I'm just an imposter. And mm -hmm. we all feel that way about ourselves. We feel that these other people that we see are better than us. I, I remember when I first joined Rotary, I was still in the Air Force. I'm a young officer in the Air Force. And I'm around all of these businessmen and women that are way above my pay grade. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm the least among them. Until I started to get to know them. And then first of all, I realized that you know, yes, these are high level business people, but they're real people. Mm -hmm. Tracy and I were talking about how we love Zoom and, and these type of virtual meetings, how it's worked out great, because you never know when my dog's going to come walking right back there and decide it's time to put that ball on my lap and go play. Yep. Yep. And, and that's that's OK. These are real people. And then I started realizing with real problems. Yep. Guess what? Everybody feels that way. All right. <laughs> Everybody does. Everybody's human. You yeah. know, why am I a leadership expert? There are people who have studied it a lot more than me. Yep. Okay. So what? Not many people have done it a lot more than me. And I've yeah. learned a few things along the way, along with my training and everything. You yeah. Know, you're not only are you great at what you do, but you're the best person in the world at being you. Yep. So be you. Being the best, being ourselves, being, being you. Yeah. Everyone else. What's that quote? Everyone else is taken. So yeah. Yeah. Be you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, I noticed when I, when I wrote in my book too, about that imposter syndrome, I always had a bit, you know, like someone's going to find out I'm not, you know, perfect or gosh, what if this is happening? What if I make, what if I make a mistake? Yeah. And I yeah. carried that into it's just, you know, because I do talk a lot about food. I took that into my food, you know, and I made this, oh, this whole challenging life for me based around perfection and food, you know. So we can do it in every area of our lives, you know. And, you know, yeah. we can. and I've got, you know, I, I know you work a lot, of, of course, with food. And, and a lot of times mm -hmm. there's goal setting pertaining to food. Yeah. So I, I thought I might talk of, about a few of my concepts on goal setting. Would that be helpful today? I would love that. Yeah. Just uh, thought processes. And because I'm sure what you're going to say too would be it relates to all the areas of our lives. Again, remember education, career, relationships, you know, joy, all of those things. So have at it. Yeah. You, you know, it really, really does. Now, I will say one thing um, I'm pretty hardcore on this. I I'm all, very hardcore on this for me. And you take whatever I'm about to say and use whatever you want. Now, that also being said, I do forgive myself too. All right. I'm a human being. I'm going to screw up. But there are, I think, some some important things that I hold myself to. And, and if you do, if you go to my web page, uh, terrielfossum.com, you can just search my name, you'll get to it. Um, you'll find I've been, I've been very blessed in a lot of different areas. Um, you'll also find by hanging out with me, I'm not that smart. I'm not any smarter than you are, you know, than anybody else. But I've got two things, two things that it's going to be hard to compete with uh, for me. Number one, and we'll talk about this more, is my attitude. My attitude. You know what? That is, uh, I don't think you'll find anybody with a better attitude. Hopefully you'll find a whole bunch of people with it exactly as good, but not with better. As soon as I wake up, the 
first thought in my mind, the single first thought every single day is thank you, God. That's my belief level, my belief system. Thank you, God, for the gifts you have given me. Please help me use them for your service. Hmm. Now think about that, the different aspects of that. Thank you, God. I've been thankful. I'm starting off the day with thankfulness every single day with gratitude. Gratitude. The, absolutely. hundred percent. I keep going with that all through my day for the gifts. You know what? We all have a lot of gifts. If you don't think you do, try this. This is crazy. Walk into a store or across a parking lot or into any room and smile at somebody. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Wow, check it out. A good percentage of them are going to smile back. Mm -hmm. You just got somebody else to smile. That is not a small thing, my friend. That's mm -hmm. a big deal because that physical thing of them smiling does go into their brain. You just improved their day. And you don't yep. know what's going to happen later. Go ahead. I love it. And it's true. I even just talking to you on the phone yesterday, I knew you were smiling. I Absolutely. smiled. You can't even see me and I was smiling. So Absolutely. And yeah. you don't know what's going to happen later on in that person's day that's going to go better because you got a smile into their brain. You got a little bit of happiness into their brain. Mm -hmm. And that will affect that person's life later on that they would have affected, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You can change people's futures like that. So do you have gifts? Absolutely you do. Figure out what they are. And like Tracy said, forget the things that you're not gifted with. Who cares? It's, you know what? I, I don't have memory. I write everything down immediately. Thank God I've got a wife that does have a memory. I don't worry about it. I don't even apologize for it. Yep, I don't have a memory. Anyway, you know? So but then they say sometimes like part of the team is find others that have the different skills than you. And then you have like a cohesive unit. So go ahead. go ahead. Thank you, God, for the gifts. And they are gifts and you need to appreciate them and realize you are gifted that you have given me. Now, mm -hmm. the, the one part is because of my belief system, I don't have any pride. You know, mm -hmm. you, you look me up, all these rah, rah, rah accomplishments, who cares? These are gifts that were given to me. I can take no pride in that. I can be thankful for them. Now, what am I going to do with the gifts that God has given me? What am I going to do with those? Well, in, again, my belief level. And if you don't believe, that's cool. It really is. Don't worry about it. it. Yeah, yeah. Work, work this into your belief level. Same concepts. You know, whatever your belief system is. Fantastic. Please help me use them for your service. So now, now, let's talk about the uh, the second thing. That was attitude. That leads us to, and, and by the way, now I'm going to hit a couple more things on attitude. I don't let anybody mess with my attitude. Write, write this down. If you can write this down, everybody, write this down. Protect your attitude like your life depends on it. Mm -hmm. Because it does. Yep. Protect your attitude like your life depends on it. Because it does. Every aspect of it absolutely does. You know, and I'm sure, you know, I think I want to say something to everybody here, too. We all have days that are so hard. We all have reasons we can be sad, upset. Things don't go the way we want. And I know you're not ignoring that, but we have a way of how we show up to that, even through those horrible, really awful experiences that can happen, you know, Absolutely. attitude, you know, so I, I, I just wanted to say, you know, you are someone that has faced a lot too. I mean, so, you know, so, okay, go ahead. I don't want to interrupt anymore. Well, no, and I want to be, <laughs> What, what time does this uh, show end at? I don't want to go. Oh, uh, we can talk for a little bit more. As long as, you know, I, I've got you, I, you know, another 15 would be great. <laughs> you got it. You I got keep it. you for a long time. So. Well, and, and I'll be the first to say, I get down in the dumps. Okay. Don't, mm -hmm. don't yeah. I get down in the dumps. Guess what? I don't live there. Right. We I get mean, out. I, yeah. yeah. I, I get down there. And you know what? There are some times where you have a really crappy day and it's okay to admit that. That is all right. But guess what? If you want to think how bad your day is, go visit a graveyard because you still have another day to turn things around and make them better. Mm -hmm. As long mm -hmm. as God keeps giving you those gifts. I, I just posted something recently and I don't remember exactly what it said, but if you think your house is crappy, go look at a homeless person and think what he would think of your house. Yeah. It's amazing and your job and your everything and your i've been in this part of the world and i've looked in those people's eyes and mm -hmm. i've seen these people 
we have a lot of gifts. So protect your attitude like your life depends on it because it does. Do not hang out with negative people. You all have heard a thousand times, you will become like your six closest friends in every way because it's true. And I won't, so true. Yeah, I won't, I won't let poop, people poop on my parade. I won't let them do it. You know, those people, I'm sorry. I you Another one right now, you can't save the world. You know, what about these people? You can't save the world. You can only save those who want to be saved. Well, and there that comes to that concept of leadership of our ourselves, taking leadership. Like you just said, you know, how can you lead others when you don't take leadership of yourself? And so one area of leadership we can do is make sure we're paying attention to that environment around us, the mindset of others, and sometimes having to take that leadership step to separate ourselves from environments that are like that. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. If I'm standing in a pool of acid, I'm not going to stand there long. I'm going to get out of it. And you might yeah. well, this is extreme simile. Well, no, it's yeah. not. I, I think, go ahead. Go. No, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> I just wanted to throw one little thing in, which is so cool. Now you've gone crabbing before, right? Sure. Yeah, and you notice how you bring, you pull them up, and you can put them in a bucket, and a bunch of them can all be in there, and you don't have to put a lid on it. Because they could all get out, but they keep pulling themselves back in the bucket. And yeah. so that's one thing, you know, I, I try and think about too, you know, who's around me? How do I feel around them? Is it a positive experience? Not that everything has to be positive. False positive life isn't something either. We want to be realistic with where we are so we can take leadership and, you know, make decisions that will support us, right? But, but it is true. Okay. Next. I'm All quiet. Right. So <laughs> I've, got, I've got those two things, uh, those two things going or that I've got the attitude and I work really hard. Mm -hmm. I work really hard, but it's because it's things I want to do. Mm -hmm. So part of it is decide what do you want to do? And if you really internalize, and I'm sure you have talked all about, you know, things like the dream board, the success scenarios, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff visualization, all that stuff's critical, mm -hmm. but you got to put the work behind it. Yes. But you got to want it to begin with, because if you're working your butt off and I do, man, I, I, I often work myself to exhaustion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm simply, I'm down for the count for a day. I'm in bed because I've worked so hard because yeah. I want to, you know, mm -hmm. because it's, yeah. thing, it's themes, things that will fulfill my dreams, my goals, et cetera. Mm -hmm. now, let, let's get to the hard stuff. Let's get the, to the tough love part because that's what today is, right? Tough love Tuesday. All right, tough love, tough love Tuesday, baby. Okay. <laughs> um, and again, I'm going to tell you things that I put to myself um, and depending on who I'm working with, to them as well, mm -hmm. but not never in a harsh way. I'm never, never cruel, never cruel. It's critical, man. Uh, our exactly. job is to love. Now, first of all, for myself, there are two things. There are results and there are excuses. If it's not a result, it's merely an excuse. And I don't care what it was. And guess what? Your goal does not care what your excuse was. Doesn't matter. Now, if you're going to decide, I'm not going to do this because you are making that decision. The circumstance is not. Now, let me give you um, another one and then I'll get down to a story about it. Um, goals versus absolutes. I don't set goals. I don't set goals. I don't do it. I set absolutes. I like that. Yeah. That feels, that feels really good. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutes. Absolutely. By heck or high water, I will do it. Mm -hmm. Goals all too often. We make excuses for ourselves. Well, I couldn't do it because I set this goal. I hate the phrase. I know a lot of people use it. I'm sorry if I offend. I don't mean to, but what is it? Shoot, shoot for the stars. You might just hit the moon. So I'm like, no, I don't want to hit the moon. <laughs> I want to shoot for what I'm shooting for. Now, let me give you an example. Um, when I was building my business, I was on a call at 6 a.m. every single morning with a very small group, about four other people who are who were setting their goals for the day. And then we tell what how we did on our goals for yesterday, every single morning, because you got to have somebody holding you accountable for it. 
Um, and there was no way in the world that I wanted to give them the call and say, I didn't really do it. But check this out. So I was, during this time, I was the executive officer for an entire group of nuclear B-52 aircraft. Each one of the th these things fully loaded was approximately the sixth most powerful nation on the face of the earth, each one of them, and we had several. Now, as the executive officer for the entire group of nuclear V-52 aircraft, I didn't have time to pee. I certainly didn't have time to build a business on the side. Mm -hmm. If I chose that I didn't have time, there's always a way. That's another thing to write down. There's always a way. And if you have that mindset, there is a way, there is a solution, mm -hmm. then Write this down also, it nearly becomes our job to find that way. There's always a way. It merely becomes our job to find that way. I did not have time to go out and pitch people on a business. Didn't have time for that, you know, or on products. Didn't have time for that. So what could I do? There's always a way. I got videos, videos that explained everything for me. This was a, a direct sales business. Um, I had videos. Okay, fantastic. I could hand out videos. So I set the goals to set to hand out three video. Hopefully you already caught me. I didn't set no dang goals. I set absolute absolute that I would hand out three videos a day. Now I'm cranking throughout the day, and man, it is it is insane. Okay, I'm doing everything I got to do. I'm going at it. Crazy day, headquarters building, Fairchild Air Force Base, Captain, and I'm just I'm going at it, and it's finally. 10 o'clock at night, like, oh my God, I got to go to bed. I got to go home. I, I can't think anymore. I'm, I'm falling asleep at the desk. And okay, I got to go home. I grab, I reach down to pick up my bag and I see the worst thing you could see. A VHS tape. Oh, there's a video. Oh. A VHS tape. Oh, 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 oh. There's still one left. Okay. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I'll get on that call tomorrow morning and they'll all understand that I'm the XO for an entire B B-52 group. They, I, look, I just didn't have to, they'll get it. They'll understand. And they'll probably go, yep, we understand. And my goal doesn't care. My goal doesn't care what the excuse was. And I set my goal. It's up to me. This is my future, nobody else's. Okay, so that's not good enough. But it's okay because instead tomorrow I'll give out four, right? So I'll average my three. So that that's fine. I'll just give out. No, that's not what will happen. If I allow myself to make an excuse, then tomorrow I will not give out four. Instead of three, I'll give out two again. And in a couple more days, I'll give one. And later on, every single morning at 6 a.m., I gave a report that I gave out my three videos. And my goal, for my absolute. Your goal, absolute. Yeah. My absolute is three more. Every single day, I met my goal my absolutes every single day, every single day, they did not. And mm -hmm. that, I'm the one that made it mm -hmm. gold versus absolutes. Yes. Um, one thing that helped me as well is I knew, you know, I'm gonna, um, with my discussion of, you know, I want to bring this to um, people that are, are distressed about weight or they're worried about, you know, failing again, and they've not done what they said they were going to do that day. One thing I find intriguing with what you're saying, you have your absolute, but it's way up here. It's over here. Your only main focus was what you were choosing to do for that one day. Yes. And I noticed with me when I reversed my health challenges and everything. Once I quit, I had my absolute, I knew it, but I wasn't, this is the other thing. There's always a way, but you just got to figure out, find that way. Yeah. So what Terry's saying and all of this, again, if we talk with food is once I took the time to figure out what worked for me, what worked for my body, utilize, you know, resources. And then I brought it down to, all right, what, does a healthy person do every day? I need to figure out that and implement it every day. You probably, again, I won't date you with the VHS. That's all right. I love that. It's like, I know it's a video. Right. And you, <laughs> video cassette. What but I think one thing I picked out from what you just said was you focused on specific daily tasks that you knew would lead you there if you just did it. The decision to succeed does not happen once. Mm -hmm. It happens every single day. 
Yeah. In fact, multiple times a day by the mm -hmm. actions we take or do not take. Mm -hmm. And that's important to understand. Somebody, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose 25 pounds. You don't make that decision once. You're going to make it every day and several mm -hmm. times. I'm going to eat healthier. You're going to make it every day, several times a day by the actions yep. you take or do not take. But let me, I'll, I'll finish with one last thing here. Uh, you mentioned the word so many people hate, failure. Yes. I love no, failure. I yes. love failure. Isn't it great? I I used to hate it, and now I'm finally uh, you know, like I get it now. Yeah, just a lesson to some way to learn. You know, at least that's now what I look at it. I'm learning something. But go ahead, I want to hear you. No, it, it's a thousand percent true. So now I'm you know again I've been very very blessed in a lot of different ways in my life, and I've I've met a lot of really really successful people in a lot of different ways. You know, in different aspects of life, really successful people. And they, every single one of them, every single one of them is a complete failure, complete failure. <laughs> every single one of them has failed and failed and failed and failed. And fa every one of them, not a single one of them got to where they are without failing. Yep. Every single one of them went, <laughs> might've gone, Hey, this sucks. I did. You know, failure hurts. It's, so it's you, painful. It's painful. But then when you look at it and go, man, I didn't just hit a wall. I just took a step. Failure yeah. Hurts. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a speed yep. bump, it's a stepping stone. You have to fail to get to success. If you're failing, I want you to go, fantastic. I'm on the path to success. If you're not failing, I want you to go, crap, I'm not on the path. I better start doing my path. I better start taking those steps that I need. You must fail. Get out there. If, if I want to leave you just anything else, get out there and go fail. Go screw things up. Try things. Go live life. Whatever your goals are, nutrition-based, you know, health-based, whatever they are in life, go out there and do them. Set your goals, set your absolute, set your attitude, work at it harder than anybody because you want to do it because that's, that's what will make you feel happy. And that's, that's what we care about. It's our job to be happy and it's our job to love. That's all I got for you tonight, unless you got any other questions for me. I love it. I I love everything that you said. Um, I do want to, I made a note, which was great. You know, you mentioned gratitude, waking up with gratitude every day for the gifts that you've been given. I wanted to add to that about, again, sometimes a mindset. Um, this is one thing I got caught into was if, if I wasn't perfect, my body wasn't perfect. It was my body's fault that my life wasn't the way it's supposed to be. And a lot of that's because of marketing. We're supposed to, you know, and growing up as a teenager and whatever, but we're sold certain things that we should be a specific way. So I, until I had gratitude for my body, for how amazing it is, everything it does for me every single day, I was in a volatile relationship with it, you know? Oh, and, yeah. yeah. And so when I think I thought about you and saying, okay, I'm all, we are all given gifts of having a body to move around on this amazing planet. Yeah. And all we have yet, all we have to do is learn how to drive it, learn how to nourish it. Like you said, get out there and ex try things, go places, you know, use it. Yeah. And use it with gratitude. And to add to that, when I changed my mindset from I have to starve it, I've got to, I got to lose this 10 pounds in three days, you know, and I not appreciate the journey of learning how to take care of myself, to appreciate it. Once I started working on just those little things every day, again, you talked about that VHS, I did one little thing one thing. I started learning. I would fail. Okay. That didn't work. All right. How, what makes me feel good? What does work? Oh, that didn't work, but oh my gosh, this does. And being willing to take the journey, um, taking leadership of our bodies, leadership of decisions associated with them. Also all the leadership you've told about with, with career, with attitude, things will change for you in immense ways. And I'll, I'll leave this. I've, I've got the city. I'll, I'll mention, um, I've got the uh, Passion Move Mountains ox cart technique is one of my books. Uh, and you can find it at terryfossum.com. It's got a system in there. I use the ox cart technique 
that is my goal setting system that helped me achieve a whole lot of things. And it really goes along with a lot of the stuff that you teach, I think. That, yeah, uh, that might be absolutely. Been- Can you hold up a couple one more time? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So passion to move mountains, the ox cart technique by Terry Bossom. Find it on his website. If you can, again, all of us, I think so much of what I've learned is from all these different avenues, like like what you were saying, you can glean. If you have leadership skills in one area, you can bring that skill set to other areas of your life. And, and we, we don't have to be isolated. Oh, I'm only a leader in the office. You know, actually, we bring that leadership to everywhere. So. Yeah. Anyway, I know you said that uh, you already gave your last pearl of wisdom, but I would love, is there one more that you can leave us with before we go? I'm, yeah. Yeah, I, I think, I know my chair keeps squeaking. Um, <laughs> I think the, the biggest thing is focus on the things that make you happy, not okay. on things that make you unhappy. And and you know what, if you're finding things that are bringing you down, that are they're riling you up, they're getting to that place you'd rather not be, cut those things out. And guess what? It may be people. It may be people. And again, I don't want to be harsh, but uh, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give you one last story. I'll give you one last story that goes along with that. Great. Um, I've, I've got what's called the Mother Teresa complex. Been told that all my life. I want to save people. You know, yeah. I want to save them. Um, and in Boy Scouting, and again, big Boy Scout type, they taught us about rescuing a drowning swimmer. Rescuing a drowning swimmer. This is for some of those people in your life that might be having challenges. How do you rescue a drowning swimmer? Well, obviously you go out there and you pull them on in, save their life. Not the way it happens. You go out there and they're struggling. They're struggling. They're drowning, right? They are struggling. And you go out there and odds are they're going to try to grab onto you and they're going to start taking you down with them. Now, first of all, you talk to them. You try to calm them down. You try to do the things you think you would want to do to try to get them to stop doing that. Okay, they're not getting calm yet. They're not okay. Now you got to be a little more forceful. Look, you got to stop doing that. Hopefully that does it. It may not. Now you're already doing the parallel with every other people in your life, et cetera. So you're already doing it. That's perfect. You should be. What do you do at that point if you can't talk them to calm down? And if you can't tell them, okay, cut that out, man. You're taking me down with you. What do you do? Guess what? No, you cold cock them. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to say that. <laughs> you cold cock them. You can try to knock them out. You got to hit them hard enough sometimes where it uh, it makes them listen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even if it knocks them out, you you, you got to oh, sorry. You got to throw that punch. Now, that being said, if that doesn't work, okay, then what do you do? Then you let them go. You have to swim away. Yeah. Because listen, either way they're going to drown. Okay, either way they're going to drown. Question is, are you going to drown with them? So if it is, because a lot of times when I tell people, look, you got to get that negative out of your life. You got to do it. And they say, but it's my. Oh, oh there you are. There you are. Oh, OK. I got you now. OK, good. I'll, I'll re-say that sentence. Um, we, a lot of times when I tell people, you got to get ready to rid of the negative in your life, even if it's people. I yeah. go, but it's my brother or it's my whatever. OK, look, I get it. Try yeah. these things. But if they're going to drown. At one point, you got to swim away so you don't drown with them. Yeah. It's our job to love. It is absolutely our job to love. Sometimes that's got to be tough love. But you've got to protect your attitude like your life depends on it. Thank you. Because it does. Because it does. And with that, again, I could talk to you forever. And I know I need to let you go. And But I am so full of gratitude to have you here tonight, Terry. Thank you so very much for taking the time out to be on the program. And again, everybody, check out Terry's book. Go to his website. It's inspirational just going to his website. Follow his YouTube channel. And um, I'll be converting this to the podcast here pretty quick. But again, Terry, thank you so much. Thanks for your tough love. Thanks for all the gratitude that you give to the world and sharing your gifts because it matters. So thanks, Tracy. You're doing to help people, Tracy. Everybody go out there, go get them. Okay. All right. Stay there, Terry. One second and I'll sign us off.